Okay, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you some more, some more power tips and that are really useful for working within Blender. And one of the ways is, you notice before where I've been entering my expressions in here like this, I can enter in the math expressions directly. That's great. Uh, but also, I've also been dragging in a calculator. Sometimes I use the Windows calculator. Sometimes I use my own calculator. But it's still an extra step. I have to drag it in, type in my expression, move it out of the way, etc. to use it. But well, there's no need to do that because Python is a powerful programming language that's available within Blender. Um, and if you're not familiar with Python whatsoever, I have tutorials on that. But even if you don't even have to know Python, you just have to know some specific parts of it to be able to take advantage of it. And I'll show you here down here. Instead of having the timeline, I'll bring up the Python console like this. And what this does, it allows me to have access to Python. Python's a powerful little programming language and it has features that you can use so maybe I want to calculate I want to use it as a calculator especially being a programmer it's easy for me to type so maybe I'm just gonna come down here and go to 5 times 5 and it instantly gives me the answer of 25 so maybe I'm trying to find certain things out in advance I'm kind of planning on my calculator before I actually build the model or build my scene so there's all kinds of features or maybe I want to raise 5 to the third power so 5 times 5 times 5 is you can use a power function and it'd be 5 comma 3 would be 5 raised to the third power and there it is 125 well maybe I want to use the square root of 64 I don't know so there's square root function as QRT of 64 and it tells me the square root of 64 is 8. Well, you can combine all these together along as you go along the way. So it's really just, and there's all kinds of tools built into it that you can use to help you out along the way. So I would recommend, at the very least, looking up Python and seeing what kind of mathematical expressions are available because this is not quite the same as writing Python code. That's Python code requires programming logic and all kinds of other things, but just for the, just having this kind of access is really useful because then when you know that, then you can use these same routines within Blender as well. All right, so that's one of the advantages of doing it. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.